morning, fellow sailplane pilots. This is George and Rick and Rick uh, in uh, in Palm Desert, California. It's a beautiful July morning here in Palm Desert, and we're here to stage an interesting comparison between three very popular powered sailplanes: the new Radian XL, owned by Mr. Rick, the standard Radian, also owned by Mr. Rick, and Eclipso powered sailplane, owned by myself. We're going to start by describing the airplanes a little bit, but let me first say that when we do get to the flying, uh, Rick will be doing all of the flying, so we'll have consistency of pilotage. Rick is a uh, full-scale uh, sailplane pilot and a sailplane pilot instructor, and he's quite an experienced model sailplane pilot as well. Let me just, what else can I say about you, Rick? I like beer. <laughs> he likes beer. He's also a career TWA captain, and he's flown everything from the Connies to the 767. So he's well-credentialed as a pilot for the demonstrations we're about to do. But all of that was in another lifetime. Another lifetime. <laughs> Let's have some fun here. Let's start by describing my Calypso. Let me get behind the camera, Rick, and uh, why don't you go ahead and pick up my Calypso, and between you and me, we'll, we'll do some description, starting with the Calypso. While Rick's picking up the airplane, I'll just uh, comment that this is a stock Calypso. Uh, it's going to be flying with a stock 1300 milliamp hour battery, stock prop, stock wing. And I have uh, Futaba equipment installed with a GPS module. Uh, so it, telemetry wise, I am hearing in my earpiece altitudes that we're flying through and speeds and everything else if I want them. Uh, we're going to be doing these demos by timing the climb to, what are we going to go to Rick? 400, uh, 399 feet. 399 feet. Don't want to bust anybody's rules. And uh, time to climb. And since we're going to be overshooting the climb in the flight segments, uh, what are we going to do, Rick? We're going to come back down? When the plane gets da back down, after a little bit of an overshoot, when the plane gets back down to 400 feet, we're then going to time the descent from 400 feet to landing. And in doing that, we're going to be flying the airplane as efficiently as we can, because that, of course, would be a big variable in the amount of time. Uh, but we'll be timing the descent from 400 feet to the landing. Okay, so this is the Calypso that we'll be using. You want to pick up the uh, your stock radian next, yeah. Rick? Try not to step on any wings. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, you put mine down. This is yours. I don't care if you step on your wing. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, what do we got here? Oh, are you? I, yes. Do we, okay, this is the uh, standard radian. Uh, Standard radians for a while were made by Park Zone. Uh, we have one of those, but this is the E flight radian, which essentially is the same plane. Uh, as George just described, it's uh, in this plane, it's a stock uh, motor, stock uh, prop. We're going to be using 3 cell 1300 battery. And you've got altimetry. Oh, that's right. Uh, we're going to be measuring the, uh, the uh, 400 foot climb with uh, this thing. It's called uh, Wireless Copilot and it's reading out uh, altitude AGL. Okay, so telemetry on each of the airplanes. And how about now um, the very newest of the candidates, the new Radian XL, 100 some inch wingspan. What a beauty. This is that big dude that everybody's so excited about these days. Boy, well, let's uh, let's hear about the equipment in there, battery-wise. Well, again, it's stock. It's stock prop, stock uh, motor. Uh, the battery is uh, three cell, thirty-two hundred, and uh, I love this plane. And you're going to put the same uh, Vario? Yeah, the same the same test. It's the same wireless Copilot Vario, and we'll be uh, climbing up to four hundred feet. We'll be timing that, and then timing the descent as well. Wow. Well, this should be fun. Uh, there's been a lot of interest in this new Radian XL. I don't know if we're going to be able to uh, discern w which is the best airplane among them all, but we're going to end up with some performance data that everybody can analyze and talk about. 
uh, when we're done. Hopefully uh, you'll all enjoy that. So Rick, let's go flying. Sounds good. Okay, the prop is alive. Prop is alive. July 19th, 2016, Palm Desert, California. About 6.30 in the morning, 82 or 83 degrees. Rick Bennett is getting ready to launch his standard Radian. Get ready to launch. Rick's launching. Ready? Yes, sir. Go ahead. And let's do a flyby so we can start the time. Tell me when you're ready. Max climb. Three nine eight nine, right there. Okay. And I got it. But George, you're gonna want to delete this part of it because I didn't get the throttle cut until it was at four fifty. So I'll tell you when I go through 399 on Okay, so we're looking for 400 feet or 399 on the way down. Yeah. That's 420 right there. 420, so we won't start yet. Okay, there's 399 right there. Start your Okay. Time. The air is absolutely dead flat calm. Exactly a hundred feet. Two minutes. Try to land um, without your body between my camera and the airplane. Okay. okay. Don't film the fact that I landed 100 feet away. Oh, don't put that on there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Power is coming on now. Now for power on. All right. Beginning our time to climb. Okay. Landing coming up. All right, very nice, Rick. Rick, what's up today? We are out here at the Coachella Valley RC Club Airport, out in the middle of the no, out in the middle of nowhere. But this is an, uh, uh, this will be a flight that's part of an ongoing project that George has going to do comparative glides with the Calypso, the Radian, and the Radian XL. So we're about to do a flight with the Radian XL and we'll be measuring the performance as closely as we can. Sure. Okay, and we have Eddie and Joshua here gonna do the timing and the recording for us. Uh, so Rick, uh, let me back up so I can get you in camera view better here. here we go. And let's do a flyby to start. It's gonna be a flying start, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead.
You guys ready? Okay, not yet. Okay, start now. Timer's running. Give us some call outs on altitudes if you would. Okay. That's 156 feet. 156. 251. 251. 278. 312. 300. I'll tell you when to stop the clock. Stop. Stop the clock. Okay. okay, he just passed through 400 feet. A little overshoot there. We're going to come back through 400 on the way down. Bit of power because I wasn't getting the readout. Okay, we'll get Start back. Start the time. Start now, okay. At 400 feet on a descent. This will take about three and a half minutes, roughly. Well, we've got no wind today. We're at sea level. And it's about 80 degrees. Runway is clear, we're going to move to the side. Gentlemen to our right, everybody off to the far right. You'll need to back up further, Joshua and Eddie. Okay, we're off to, uh, way off to the burn side here. Right. That kerosene jet going off in the background over on the paved runway. I'll, I'll tell you when to stop the timing. You can stop the timing right there. All right, coming around on downwind for. A landing at the upper runway at our Coachella Valley flying site. About to turn base. There's the base turn. You got spoilers out yet, Rick? No. Clean. Here's half spoilers right there. All right. Half spoilers out. Sweet, sweet, sweet. 